Teachings of Meshu Sama The Sacred Word of Meshu Sama What are they? What are the teachings of Meshu Sama? What is the Sacred Word of Meshu Sama? I hear some people say that unless all his teachings are translated, we can never understand the true will of Meshu Sama. Well, is this true? Unless we know all his words, can we not understand what he really wants to tell us? No, that's not true. To start with, even though we say that they are the teachings of Meshu Sama, who do they belong to? Who does the sacred word of Meshu Sama belong to? It belongs to God, doesn't it? The teachings of Meshu Sama belong to God. And they came from God, didn't they? Every single word in his teachings came from God, didn't it? Now then, where is God? Where is he? Where does he live? He lives within each one of us. He exists within each one of us, doesn't he? The soul of God rests within us. God is the origin of the teachings of Meshu Sama. He is the source of the sacred word of Meshu Sama. God knows everything and provides all knowledge. And it is this God who lives within each one of us. So how can we say that we can never understand the true will of Meshu Sama unless all his teachings are translated? The one who knows everything, the one who created the teachings of Meshu Sama, the sacred word of Meshu Sama, is in us. In fact, we have a part of God within us. Our true identity is God himself. Translating all of his words may take another several decades or perhaps more, maybe a hundred or two hundred years. In that case, are we going to say that we have to wait that long to know what Meshu Sama really wants? Then what are we doing now? Are we just wasting our time without knowing his true will? Are we going to die not knowing much not knowing what Meshu Sama really wanted? Listen to what Jesus says. He says, you study, the, you study the scriptures diligently because you think that in them you have eternal life. These are the very scriptures that testify about me. What does the sacred word of Meshu Sama testify to? What does it point to? What is its conclusion? It testifies that Meshu Sama was sent by God to complete the work Jesus began 2,000 years ago. That we humans are destined to be born anew as God's children, as Messiahs, and that the second coming of Christ has already been accomplished within each and every one of us. This is what the teachings of Meshu Sama testify and point to. This is the conclusion of a sacred word. If you do not accept this conclusion of his teachings, no matter how much you talk about them, it is useless. But if you accept and believe in this conclusion, even a single passage, a mere sentence from his teachings, start to carry life. Know this, everyone. Meshu Sama himself Meshu Sama himself is the embodiment of his teachings, his sacred word. And yes, the second coming of Christ. The second coming of Christ. Unlike some people, we are not going to say that only Meshu Sama is the second coming of Christ. Because if we do, because if we do so, Meshu Sama will be condemned as a false prophet a false Christ. What we are going to say is this. Not only Meshu Sama, not only Meshu Sama, but all of humanity, without exception, 
have already received the soul of Christ, the soul of Messiah within them. This thing that the Christians have been waiting for for a long time, that humanity has been waiting for for a long time, it was accomplished in Meshusama, and it is also already accomplished within every single one of us, every single one of you. Jesus Christ is supposed to return, right? He ascended to heaven 2,000 years ago and is supposed to descend with the glory of God, with the resounding shouts of hallelujah, right? And he's supposed to judge all humanity and establish God's kingdom of heaven on earth, right? Let me tell you today that he has already descended. Christ has already descended. Where? Within each one of us. Within each one of you. The second coming of the second coming of Christ that the Christians want so much, the glorious God's kingdom that the Christians and all humanity want so much, they're already within us. The soul of Christ, the soul of Messiah is already within us. Heaven is already established within us. Jesus said, yes, I'm coming soon. He already came. Do you think he will be this late when he said that he was coming soon? But actually, to tell you the truth, he has never left us in the first place. He has never left us in the first place. We were, we are, and we will always be together with the soul of Christ, the soul of, the soul of Messiah. We were always together with God. There's not been a single moment, there's not been a single moment when we were apart from God. The soul of Christ, of Messiah, is not going to come back for the second time because, it's, because it has always been with us. It is not going to return to us because it has always been with us. So say to God, O oh God, your soul has never left us. Your soul has never left us. Your soul has never left us. The soul of Christ, of Messiah, was, is, and will always be with us. This is how the second coming of Christ will be accomplished within us. This is how the descent of Christ will be accomplished within us. But some may want to say, no, that can't be the meaning of the second coming of Christ because I haven't seen him with my own eyes. Well, if so, why did Jesus say to Thomas, have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. The time has come for us to believe without seeing. The time has come for us to believe without seeing. The second coming of Christ has already been accomplished within us. God's kingdom of heaven is already established within us. This is the message of Meshu Sama's teachings. This is the message of his sacred word. And remember, Salvation is found not in the actual words of the teachings of Meshu Sama. Rather, it is found within you. It is alive within you. Meshu Sama said that he was born anew as the Messiah and that he was the second coming of Christ. Kyo Sama is saying that we can also be like Meshu Sama. He's saying that Meshu Sama is our model. He's saying that the soul of Messiah, of Christ, is within us. That heaven is already established within us. This sounds simple, maybe too simple. But nobody in the history of our church has said, has said anything like this. So beware. Do not take any credit for the true faith of Meshu Sama that Kyoshu Sama is now revealing to us. How fortunate we are that we have come to know the truth of God, the truth of Jesus, and the truth of Meshu Sama through Kyoshu Sama. God, may your immense glory be shared with everyone.